saints, brothers and sisters, all of you who are looking for the Lord, waiting for his rapture escape to take place. He is coming. We don't know when, we don't know when. We thought we knew, we're always looking. We're always looking every day. There, there's signs everywhere. They're in Matthew, it's all fulfilled. There's only two events left, which is the rapture and the impact of the asteroid. And they're both coming. It's coming. I mean, there's so much evil and sin in this world. I saw this video the other day that just disgusted me. Ooh, talk about holy anger. I was holy PO'd. And I, oh my goodness, it just, it broke my heart. It just broke my heart to see the Lord, just them mocking Jesus Christ the way that they did. Ooh. Ooh, Lord have mercy. But then, you know, it brings me back to that Bible to where Moses was praying. He was interceding for those who were doing evil back in those days. And because the Lord was the God that was back in those days. Oh, man, we have a merciful Lord today. And people just don't even know how merciful God is because if we had the God back in those the, the, the ancient days back in Moses's days he would already done tore this world apart <laughs> it would already been new I mean it, it, it fire already it would have it would have been destroyed if we had that God it would have been destroyed already straight up but the God that we have, He is a merciful, loving, compassionate, peaceful, true, holy, glorious, mighty, awesome God. I mean, I could go on and on just describing the Lord. I mean, there's not enough words that describes how awesome and amazing and wonderful, magnificent, just, he's everything, he's everything. He's perfect, perfect, perfect. And he's a God that is of grace and is of mercy and love and forgiving. And he just wants to win your heart. He's a God that is so, just wants to be so intimate with his people and want those who are lost to just turn to him. The Bible says my king is the king of the Jews. He's a king of Israel. He's a king of righteousness. He's a king of the ages. He's a king of heaven. He's a king of glory. He's a king of kings. And he's the Lord of lords. That's my king. I wonder do you know him. My king is a sovereign king. No means of measure can define his limitless love. He's enduringly strong. He's entirely sincere. He's eternally steadfast. He's immortally graceful. He's imperially powerful. He's impartially merciful. Do you know him? He's the greatest phenomenon that has ever crossed the horizon of this world. He's God's son. He's a sinner's savior. He's the centerpiece of civilization. He's unparalleled. He's unprecedented. He is the loftiest idea in literature. He's the highest personality in philosophy. He's the fundamental doctrine of truth theology. He's the only one qualified to be an all sufficient savior. I wonder if you know him today. He supplies strength for the weak. He's available for the tempted and the tried. He sympathizes and he saves. He strengthens and sustains. He guards and he guides. He heals the sick. He cleans the lepers. He forgives sinners. He 
discharges debtors. He delivers the captives. He defends the feeble. He blesses the young. He serves the unfortunate. He regards the age. He rewards the diligent. And he purifies the meek. I wonder if you know him. He's a key to knowledge. He's a wellspring of wisdom. He's a doorway of deliverance. He's a pathway of peace. He's a roadway of righteousness. He's a highway of holiness. He's a gateway of glory. Do you know him? Well, his life is matchless. His goodness is limitless. His mercy is everlasting. His love never changes. His word is enough. His grace is sufficient. His reign is righteous. And his yoke is easy. And his burden is light. I could describe him, but yet he's indescribable. He's incomprehensible. He's invincible. He's irresistible. Well, you can't get him out of your mind. You see, you can't get him off of your head. You can't outlive him, and you can't live without him. Well, the Pharisees couldn't stand him, but they found out they couldn't stop him. Pilate couldn't find any fault in him. Terror couldn't kill him. Death couldn't handle him. 